Well, for the first time, bird flu or avian flu hit the dairy cattle market. The FDA, CDC and USDA are investigating cases in five states, including Michigan. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us to explain uh, what that may mean for the dairy supply. Hi, Monica. Hi, Matt. Yeah, so far no cases reported here in Ohio, but Ohio dairy farmers are paying close attention to their cows, and it's common to remove milk from the supply chain from any cow who si shows signs of sickness. Now, we've seen bird flu attack poultry farms here in Ohio, migrating waterfowl, typically the ones spreading the disease, while the flu was devastating to chicken it doesn't have the same effect on cows. While they may get sick, so far none have died. Most recover. Bottom line, as long as you're drinking and eating pasteurized dairy products, you're safe. The process kills the virus, and here's where they think it's coming from. It could be directly, you know, a, a, a migratory bird that's in close proximity to, um, uh, to a cow. Um, it's possible that those migratory birds are infecting resident birds like uh, crows or starlings uh, that are, are more common on farms um, uh, throughout the entire year. Um, and so something like that, the exact route so far um, has not been determined, but uh, it is the same strain that is circulating in those migratory birds. So cases have been discovered in the Texas Panhandle, Kansas, Idaho, New Mexico, and Michigan, and infected goats were discovered in Minnesota. We're seeing bird flu from coast to coast infecting mammals, but so far it is still not transmitting to humans in the United States. How this will, you know, this is going to spread across, Matt, we're going to have to wait and see. Yeah. Well, and Monica, how, how will this actually impact the price of milk, you know, when we actually go to the grocery store? Well, you know what, they're saying right now it's probably not going to have any impact on the price of milk, um, which, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Right now it's in five states. If it spreads like it did with uh, chickens, you know, that happened in, I believe it was 40-some states. So we did see an increase in egg prices. Whether or not this impacts milk, we'll have to wait and see. But they're advising please do not drink uh, natural milk. Do not drink anything or eat anything that is not pasteurized. Okay, something I'm sure we'll continue to follow. Monica, thank you.